baby, and if it's quite all right, I'll do a lip slide tonight. Oh, pretty baby, backside tail slide, shove it. Do you want to press the red button? Nolly kick flip. Yeah, how's it going? Yeah. You ready? My name's Eddie Belvedere, and this is Love Park. We've just finished building it. It's been hell of a month. We got the keys literally one month ago. Completely like ripped out this entire floor, cleaned up the area, painted the walls, sorted the lights out, stripped all the ventilation. And then Trev and the rest of his crew came in and they've just built this amazing low impact fun zone. It's been a dream of mine for a while to do something like this and it's happened. I'm going to be coaching here. We've already had loads of bookings. People are super keen, like people who I used to teach in my previous job missed kind of having me as a coach for a while. That they've contacted me, and hopefully in the future, like when Cora comes back from Palestine, she's going to come and teach here. So we'll have a female coach, which is super important for a skate park to have. Obviously, we teach everybody. We do lessons for anyone. Like it doesn't matter how old you are. We've got a lad who's like 19, he's just booked some lessons with us. In the past, I've taught people as old as 60 years old, so kind of whoever wants to learn to skate, this is the place to come. Safe environment, everything's super low, there's nothing too big and intimidating. Yeah, so in the far corner, two and a half foot mini ramp. Super small, nice fat coping on it because I hate skinny coping. I like your trucks need to lock in. That's just really beginner friendly. Three foot quarter channel gap with bank to wall ride. Kind of a bit of a classic skate obstacle. There's a slight corner on the left side quarter. So you can kind of pump round into the front side ground, back side ground into the bank. The driveway, it's like pretty small. It's only like a foot high. It's got an along and down rail, along and down hubble ledges, box coping. So it's not as bitey as like the regular angle iron you usually get in wooden skate parks. We've got a nice like slappy up, slappy down on the edge of the driveway. And then like a foot high block, which is kind of like a mani pad as well. It's wide enough. This is kind of like a multi-tool. This whole middle section is really like so many ways to skate it. Nice long board side block in the middle. Nice square edges. And then on this side, we've got the, the slappy hip, kind of based on, there's a spot in Paris that you see a lot of people skate. Just a real little small hip, little ledge, just super fun. Loads of ways to skate it, really low, not intimidating. You can do all the flips you want over it as well. And then on this side here, we've got the, just a regular flat bank with like a kind of block kind of curb in the middle. Really simple, but so many ways to skate it. Yeah, just not, nothing's intimidating, you know, it's just all fun. It's all about just being fun. You don't need to build like 20 foot ramps and you don't need huge jumps and you just need like really kind of basic stuff to learn how to ride a skateboard. And the good thing is as well, we, we had some really good skaters here the other night who were like super technical, really advanced and like how they skated as well, it kind of suits them. Doesn't matter if you're an absolute beginner, like a, a pro or whatever, like anybody can skate this. It works for everyone. I'd like to thank my mum and dad. I'd like to thank Sarah Porter for helping this last month and for everything she's done for me and for skateboarding in Cornwall especially over the last 30 years. You'll all be pleased to know that she's gonna be working here at this skate park with me and she's very much a part of it. I wanna thank Trevor, the skate park architect, you know, Trevor Johnson for all his hard work and for kind of pulling all the strings at such short notice to make this happen. We had a real tight window and it, he made it work. Massive shout to Malbra Pete because he obviously, he stayed on after the job, the initial job was kind of meant to finish and worked to, to, to finish this skate park and so we can open tomorrow. Rybo and Marcus, couldn't have done it without them too. 
Jacob. Jacob's been like main kind of tech IT. Just full gone centre manager and he's just like bossed it and wouldn't, we wouldn't be ready to mark. Basically like all my friends, family, my girlfriend Kate for being an absolute rock. Without her, like none of this would have happened. Danny Parker who's been filming a documentary, it's been rad having him around and big love, love park. Come and check us out. Alright, we're good. Yeah, baby.